to deliver an interfaith invocation, delegates and guests, please welcome Los Angeles Muslim leader, Dr. Sarah H. Dean and Rabbi Stephen Jacobs. I started writing this in a fashion the day I was ordained a rabbi in June of 1967 when the Six-Day War broke out in Israel. I was the ordination class speaker that day and said, our lives as rabbis will be an enormous challenge that we never expected. So it was and so it is. I stand here with my Muslim friend, Sara, a courageous and formidable leader. Our journey together has been threatened, and we have experienced repeated hate. I started writing this in a fashion the day I met a Rabbi Rebecca in the quieter months between the 2014 and 2021 escalations in Gaza. We shared brunch, and she said, our lives as friends may bring challenges, but our friendship will teach us. So it did, so it has. I stand here today with my Jewish friend, Stephen, a courageous and formidable leader. Our journey together has been threatened, and we have experienced repeated hate. We stand together acknowledging the thousands of Palestinians and Israelis dead in Gaza and Israel and the occupation. The hundreds of Israeli people held hostage by Hamas and the thousands of Palestinians political prisoners held without charges of trial in Israel. We stand here together to call for the release of the hostages, a ceasefire, support for the survivors, and real work towards a long-term solution which offers life and dignity for all, Israelis and Palestinians. We stand together holding the great grief and the gravest fears of our fellow Democrats, families, neighbors, and friends. We stand before you as a bridge to work together with you in honoring, we stand before you as a bridge to work together with you in asking for a ceasefire on hatred in this country. <clears throat> we stand before you as a bridge to work together with you in honoring the inherent worth and dignity of every human being, no matter who they are, what they believe or how we live. We stand before you representing communities who may carry stories and understandings which conflict with one another, yet we each and all seek and deserve life and dignity. Especially in this time of severe polarization and social conflagration. We are each so desperate to be understood, to be loved, and above all, to be safe. Therefore, in this time of severe polarization and social conflagration, we must commit to understand, to love, and to protect one another. Recognizing the differing views on the Middle East, we plead with you to communicate your passions and differences with an open mind and heart, and do not deface one another as a non-human being. <clears throat> we stand here together with immense pain and grief, as you do out there, boldly seeking the light to drive out the darkness. We stand here together to call us each and all back to the values of the core of our Democratic Party, values of humanity, 
solidarity, kindness, justice and shalom, salam, Pax Christi, peace. O oh, source of godliness, we are heartbroken. Where are you, God? Be with the children who cry out. Be with the mourners and the grievers. Be with the frightened and the weary. O oh, source of godliness, come near. God of justice, where are you? Hear us as we move towards empathy. Hear us as we bolster our solidarity. Hear us as we turn towards some kindness and goodness. O oh God, move us to forsake violence of the hand and of the spoken word. Make us a people who are capable of healing and caring. Lead us out of fear and hatred. Guide us along the path to peace. Shalom. Amen. And amen. amen. God bless.